right, guys, let's head into our Lagos studio where I am now being joined by Arise correspondent Steve Ayorinde. Uh, film and TV, we're getting into the conversation of finding Nollywood in the global film market. Steve, it's great to have you on the show, specifically in film and TV. It's great to have you join us here. So let's delve into this conversation. Off the back of the Cannes Film Festival, there have been conversations around where is Nollywood in all of this. We see various countries, we see various Nigerians, but where is the industry? Separating the industry from the people is what we have seen, where you have Nigerians going out there doing big things, but do they go as Nollywood or just as Nigerians? First of all, is there a distinction between the two or is there becoming a distinction between the two? The industry that calls itself Nollywood and just Nigerians doing big things across the globe. All right, uh, Kachi, I mean, good, good to, to join you. And um, I'm sure that you had fun in Cannes. Uh, I guess that it is good to call you the mayoress of <laughs> Cannes and the Antibes. <laughs> all right, um, how do we place Nollywood uh, in all of this? Uh, I guess that this, this has been the question all along. Uh, when Nigerian filmmakers go out, uh, out of Nigeria, go to festivals, go to award ceremonies go to uh, exhibit what they're doing outside are they going as nigerian filmmakers or are they going as nollywood uh, ordinarily there ought not to be a difference but uh, it doesn't look like that um, I i'm not sure that the tag or the name nollywood uh, gets anything done once you step out uh, of the mutala Mohammed international airport or the abuja international airport uh, you are basically a nigerian filmmaker uh, and therefore, the question that you asked uh, is very germane. Uh, what then is the industry? Uh, when you go to Cannes, for example, you go to Toronto, uh, and don't forget that Toronto has probably done more uh, in promoting, in the last 10 years at least, uh, done more in promoting on the global stage uh, what uh, the Nigerian film industry, or Nollywood, as many people will prefer to call it, has done more. Uh, possibly than any other major international film festival. Talking about Cannes, talking about Berlin, talking about Venice, talking about a London International Film Festival, or FESPACO, or Durban in South Africa. What seems to be missing uh, is what ties the industry together uh, from the part of government and then from the part of the industry. You don't have that industry in the way that you would love to have it because uh, what holds an industry? In Nigeria, it seems to build the guild structure. The guilds are constantly fighting among themselves. Uh, we have spent, uh, I, I believe, more than 15 years trying to uh, get the Bopicom bill passed, which is the uh, Motion Picture Practitioners Council. Uh, there are those who support it. There are those who are vehemently against it. And therefore, you do not have... Um, if you like, one voice per se uh, that is speaking for Nollywood uh, or that is galvanizing uh, the Nollywood. film industry uh, as far as, yes, Nollywood, as far as international yeah. exposure is concerned. And I just wanted uh, and, to... And, and, and just, you will see, Kachi. Yeah. Just yes. before you just landed on that, because there was something you just touched on that I'm so glad that you did, the guild structure. You see, I, for okay. one, when I... I know, yeah. I know, believe it or not, Steve, I, I tried my luck at acting <laughs> at some point. <laughs> and I'll tell you what frustrated <laughs> me out of it, the guild structure. You know, I feel it's, it's become such a system, or do I call it a cacus, where if you are not involved or doing, paying your dues, in quote, there's really no space for you. And I'm wondering how functional is this guild structure? Even in terms of welfare, of our actors, you know, in terms of pushing filmmakers, how is it possible that you have individuals do more? Look at platforms like Arise Play, look at platforms like Indieview, there's so many out there, you know, going out there to support filmmakers. But <laughs> it's like the Guild is more about keep maintaining the structure than actually doing what it was created to do. If you ask me, I'd say just get rid of it. Mm. What do you get rid of? The guild structure? I mean, get rid of... Exactly. I, don't, I don't think so. Okay, tell me why. Uh, why would be because 
you need to understand that um, Nollywood, if we mean Nollywood as the new Nigerian cinema that covers the entire country, it is fragmented. Carnywood is there for the entire North. Uh, in the South, uh, Nollywood will probably basically address the English-speaking Igbo, Delta, South-South kind of industry. In Lagos, yes, you will find Nollywood as far as the English-speaking uh, uh, caucus is concerned, but then you will also find the Yoruba uh, uh, component of Nollywood. There are guilds taking care, you know, catering to the needs of all those different uh, uh, caucuses in the north, in the Yoruba thing, which has the ANTP, you know, and Mopan, etc. And of course, uh, in the core Nollywood uh, uh, guild for the actors, uh, Association of Movie Producers, Directors Guild of Nigeria, uh, they are there. But then that's not how a holistic industry functions, which is why maybe uh, the Mopicon thing, uh, Motion Pictures Practitioners Council, will have addressed all this, you know, uh, frankly speaking. I know that Unkulai Mohamed, you know, the uh, former immediate past uh, minister, tried his best to try and pull all these things together. But, you know, creatives are not the, um, the easiest people that you pull together and say, this is how we want to go. So Nollywood, as far as is the face of the Nigerian film industry, suffers when it comes to who's God in who. So when you look at Khan, for example, Muabudu was there, right? Yadi Oshiberu was there as an individual. Okwe Ajayi was there uh, for movie distributors and exhibitors. Um, there are a number of people. Even the DG of the census board was there. And then you begin to ask yourself, who was there? If, if, if um, Muabudu had not invited people individually, who would be at the premiere of a short film? It is because we do not have that industry that can say, let us push uh, individuals who are doing good. Let us be the face and the voice to represent uh, uh, what's going on. So the guild structure will continue to be fragmented, will continue uh, to play to the gallery uh, as far as we do not have the entire gamut of the industry speaking with one voice. That will require the entire guild structure. It will require uh, the agencies of government that are supposed to get things done, namely uh, the Nigerian Film Corporation, and of course the National Film and Video Census Board. Uh, without everybody coming on board and saying that, because that is how it is done elsewhere, all over the world. If you go to Ouagadougou for FESPACO, there is a film commission yeah. that is in charge. If you go to South Africa, you may have different, yeah. I agree with that. There are so many. Go on, that's how yeah, that's how it's done across the world. But, you know, Let's understand that this is showbiz at the end of the day, right? And we're still coming up, you know, <laughs> we're not, yeah. we're not, at the end of the day, the reason why it's state of the fact is money is like making money off of this is, is essential. And when you say, you know, creatives are mm -hmm. not the easiest people to work with, why is it that for some reason these creatives are able to do incredible things on their own? Look at what Battle on Booker Street did in the box office. That was, that was yeah. incredible for a Nigerian movie. You know, look at what Omogeto the Saga did. Yeah. Look at what The Wedding Party did. Look yeah. at what Lionheart did. Look at what Milk Maid did on the international scene. These are all just people in their own circles. These same creatives doing their own thing. But when it comes down to the structure of it all, it all just looks so... It, it's not adding up. There must be a missing link somewhere. And I just want you to focus on that. What is that missing link? How do we bring these people, these creatives that are incredible at what they do? Even at the Cannes Film Festival, yeah. Michael Omonua was there as an individual. He's got the funding, Le Cinef. Yeah. He's going to, no, 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 Le Fabrique Cinema. I believe that's the one he was for. He's getting funding for Galatians, a movie he's about to produce, but he's, he's doing his own thing. Yeah. How do we bring these creatives and the structure that we have as Nollywood together so we can do more? We can do more on a global scale as mm -hmm. an industry. That is what I want to know. How can we bridge this gap? All right, thanks, Kachi. Basically, government and the guild structure. That's how it works. Uh, and when I say that creatives are not the easiest to, de to, to deal with, I didn't mean that uh, in a derogatory format. Look at uh, the music component uh, of the entertainment industry. Look at what Bonner Boy is doing 
on a global scale, for example, it hasn't got the impute of PMAN, let alone the impute of, of Nigerian government. And I think that there ought to be some people somewhere, some agencies somewhere, who should tap in into what Bonaboy is doing, because no, no budget of, of the federal government can get the sort of eyeballs that Bonaboy is bringing to Nigeria, you know, for the country in terms of arts, in terms of culture, in terms of creativity, etc. So that's what I mean. So when you have Nigerian individuals doing great things, government must tap in through the necessary agencies of government who are not doing nine to five, but who understand that they're dealing with creatives. And the first point of call to deal with will be the leadership, will be the headship of the guilds or whatever, by whatever names that they are called. So that when uh, a border boy is performing somewhere, who is supposed to tap into that? When a Nigerian film is going to Cannes or to Berlin, or when we are about to be represented at the Oscars, for example, do you understand? How do we, how do we get things done? Government is important. It is not to, it is not to um, uh, uh, determine what happens. It's to coordinate what happens. Why were we unable, for example, to be, at, at, to be represented at the Oscars? last year. It's because uh, a few people who are on the committee basically felt that no Nigerian film qualified. But it was not peculiar to Nigeria. The same thing happened in Egypt. The same thing happened in France, where the ministers of culture in France said, hey, yes, we understand that uh, you people are the committee that will choose who represent us. But we have a say on who, because at the end of the day, it is the name France. It is the name Egypt. It is the name Nigeria that you'll be pushing forward. And therefore, the ministers of culture in those respect, respective countries stepped in. We didn't have that in Nigeria. And, and thus, we lost the opportunity to be represented at the Oscars. Whether we we'll win uh, the best international film or even get you know, uh, selected uh, for the final round does not matter. What is important is that don't let us hack ourselves down from home. And the reason why we were hacked down is because that there was no coordination. It's because that government does not have a say. It's, the, it's, the, it's because the guild structure felt that, oh, this is about the individuals and those who have constituted themselves into guild, into uh, Oscar nominating uh, committee. And you saw how five of them, you know, pulled out because only one person seemed to be determining what happened. Listen. So again, I say to you, mm -hmm. Kachi, government won. And then the structure of those who are the leadership uh, of the creative sector. If yeah. you don't get that, I mean, uh, uh, guilds are important abroad. Guilds are important in Nollywood. Yeah, they are. If the they down are. tools, like the writers, like the writers in Nollywood did the other time, mm -hmm. it, it, it's total. I it's agree total with you. So we do not have that here. We do not have that they, yet in Nigeria. Yeah, it boils down to you know. <laughs> listen, when you spoke about. The, <laughs> the Oscars, the NCOS, Nigeria, NOSC, Nigeria Oscar Selection Committee, it took me back to the embarrassing yes. showdown. I remember how messy it was to the point where the <laughs> Zoom meeting was shared. It was public for the world to see us just arguing. And it's like it is still our thing at the end of the day. I really do hope we get it right. But Steve, it was great to just hash out this conversation with you. It was great seeing you in Cannes. Uh, what, what is it that you called me? The minister or the uh, mayor? What did you call me again? <laughs> <laughs> the mayoress of Cannes and the Antibes. <laughs> I'm going to stick with that. Thanks Claim a lot. that title, Kachi. Thank Claim you. It. Thank you for joining All me right. on Vice 360 today.